The road, Great Scotland Yard in London's Whitehall, was once used as a rear entrance for the headquarters of Scotland Yard, a name given to London's Metropolitan Police that is responsible for policing most of London. Its headquarters are now situated around the corner from London's St James's Park station and one of its early intelligence officers was to play a central role in combating crime. During the 63-year reign of British monarch Queen Victoria, Empress of India, she appointed Irish-born Sir Robert Anderson as the Assistant Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police, a role he was to retain until he retired in 1901. This is documented in the London Gazette of Tuesday, August 28, 1888, for this trained barrister had something solid to offer. He is buried in London's Kensal Green Cemetery on Howe Road, virtually unknown to the modern world. But he wasn't only defending Her Majesty's kingdom, but another kingdom, a spiritual one whose principles first start within the heart. Around the corner from New Scotland Yard is a road named Dean Farrar Street. It was named after Frederick William Farrar, a cleric of the Church of England who was the Dean of Canterbury and the Canon of Westminster Abbey. This theologian was a pagan in a Christian cloak and he wrote a book totally discrediting the prophet Daniel, undermining its historical accuracy and its prophetic forecasts. But God always has his men in every age to defend his truths. And Sir Robert Anderson wrote that the Daniel controversy has hitherto been regarded as the special reserve of the philologist. Porphyry the pagan it was who set the bowl rolling. Dean Farrar's book of Daniel will supply the man in the street with a reason for the unfaith that is in him. The inquiry remains. What further can be said in its defence? First comes the mention of Daniel three times repeated in the prophecies of Ezekiel, chapter 14 verses 14 and 20 and chapter 28 and verse 3. It was Sir Isaac Newton's opinion that to reject Daniel's prophecies would be to undermine the Christian religion. St Paul's predictions of the Antichrist point back to the visions of Daniel. And with those visions, the visions of St. John, the Daniel of the New Testament, are so inseparably interwoven that if the former be attributed to imagination, the latter must be attributed to a lunacy. The book of Daniel and the Apocalypse stand or fall together. Who would ever have imagined that one of the strongest defenders of Bible prophecy would, like the prophet Daniel himself, also be in one of the highest positions in the government. We shall find out more in this up and coming study on the book of Daniel in 2017. Stay tuned for more updates.